Hi everyone, this is Miss Fern. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about Jesus' power. Now a lot of people are concerned right now about the coronavirus and I want you to know that Jesus has the power to calm our fears. Now you might be saying, Miss Fern, what are you scared about? Well, I think I'm scared right now about people that are lonely people that can't go to school or to work or can't go and play with their friends like they're used to. This includes my own children who are home from school and things are different and sometimes different is hard and scary. How about you? What are you scared about? Are you scared about school or something that's going on around you? Or maybe it's something that you've always been a little bit scared of. That's okay. Sometimes saying what scares us out loud really helps. So on the count of three, we're going to say what scares us. And I am going to say being lonely because I'm lonely sometimes too. Okay? One, two, three. Being lonely. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm already feeling a little bit better saying that out loud and sharing it with you. And I want you to know that there's people in your family that you can share your fears with. You can pause this video and go talk to them right now or talk to them later, but they are there for you. And I also want you to know that being scared is nothing new. There are stories in the Bible of people that were scared and how Jesus helped them. One of my favorites I call Jesus in the boat. And it's from the book of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. And we're going to say it together. We're going to tell it together. So one day, Jesus and his friends were on a boat. You can do this too. Do you have a boat? And they're in the boat, and they're on the water, and it's very calm, and everything's fine. And Jesus decides he's going to lay down and take a nap. So everything's fine and they're going along, but then the winds start coming and a storm starts brewing and the waves start coming and the, ba the boat starts bouncing all around. The disciples are very scared and they don't know what to do. So they go to Jesus and they say, Jesus, help us. And Jesus wakes up and he says to the storm, be still. And the winds die down and the waves calm and soon everything is at peace again. Okay, some questions. Number one, what happened to the boat? Do you remember? First it was calm, then it got bumped around by the storm, and then the storm passed and it was calm again. Number two, how is this like our own fears? Well, sometimes things seem very calm and peaceful in our lives and then something new happens that we don't understand and it feels like we're in the middle of a storm. But then the storm does pass and we are calm again. Question number three, why did the storm pass? Well, the disciples woke Jesus up and asked for his help. And you know, I think that even as soon as the disciples asked Jesus for help, even before the storm stopped, when they just asked for Jesus' help, that they started to feel a little less afraid. And they knew things were going to be okay. And we can do this too. We can bring our fears about whatever it is, about the coronavirus or, or anything that's going on, we can bring our fears to Jesus and he can help us. And you know, there's people that love you and help you and take care of you in your lives right now. And I want you to think about someone that helps take care of you. And in a moment, we are going to close in prayer. And you know, prayer is just going to Jesus and talking to him, just like the disciples did. And when we say our prayer, I'm going to pause for a minute and you can say thank you for the person that takes care of you. Okay? Jesus, thank you for all the people who help us when we are scared. 
today I really thank you for Please calm our fears and help everyone to be safe and okay. In, in your name we pray, amen. Excellent. I do feel better and I hope you do too. Until next time, remember that Jesus has the power to calm our fears. Bye-bye.